All right, you know, when you think about tech hubs, you probably think about places like Silicon Valley, but in the heart of Inglewood, a nonprofit is working to educate and mold future black tech industry leaders. As we honor Black History Month, our Leslie Marine walks us through the mission for story number four. Well, while the number of tech jobs continue to grow, the workforce just does not reflect the makeup of the communities they serve. A group of five black entrepreneurs set out to change that. As part of our Black History Month coverage, we introduce you to the Hidden Genius Project. This is something called control flow. I've set the variables, I've stored objects. Hidden in the heart of Inglewood is a tiny but mighty tech hub. You're actually able to use your communication skills at its peak, at its height. Here, it's made up of these young teen boys, or geniuses as they call them. Our vision is to build Los Angeles, Inglewood um, as the hub for black techs black tech leaders and starting with our young people, starting with geniuses. Kayla Mason is the regional director of the Hidden Genius Project. The focus, training and mentoring young black men in technology creation, entrepreneurship and leadership skills. It's important for our geniuses to see themselves as founders and not want to work at Google, but build their own Google. But this program is no walk in the park for these teens. In fact, they have to spend 15 months. We're talking two of their summers and 800 hours. They also have to complete a capstone project before they can graduate. Are you interested in something you never thought you would be? Yes, and that's coding and tech. 15 year old Jacob Berry is currently in the program. Although it's free to families, only 24 teens get in after a competitive application process. I learned uh, like a lot of things like how to code a little bit better than I used to. It's been really cool. But at the Hidden Genius, it's not all about tech. We're here to support each other, and one thing that we always follow is Ubuntu. It's uh, I am because we are, so it's a very, community is very important. The nonprofit was founded to form a brotherhood and bridge the gap between the high unemployment rate among black youth and the ever growing tech industry, where only 7% of employees are black. Growing up, there's not really much of like entrepreneurships or like tech or like anything like that. A lot of people that you see are usually like basketball players or like football players or like rappers or well, want to be rappers, you know, but um, you don't really get to see what I like to call nowadays like a successful black person. Joe Kim Bryant recently graduated from the program, but still rides the bus for nearly two hours to get here after school to work as a youth instructor. So I can take my little bus down here, come out here uh, whenever I can, every Tuesday, most Saturdays, I come out here and I work and I pretty much make sure I get back to my community. It's something that I live for right now. Community is really at the heart of what these hidden geniuses learn. Combine that with their tech skills. They have already launched nearly 200 programs. We have a genius that built an app, a learning language app. Um, based on the language of his grandmother. Um, we have a young person that um, launched a shoe company called Fix My Kicks that uh, fixes old shoes um, to stop pollution in the oceans. Each one a chance to bridge the gap between their community and the tech world. When you see like big like tech people, they're mostly not people of color. So it will be nice to have representation. To date, the Hidden Genius Project has supported over 9,300 students and provided more than 600,000 hours of direct training. For more information on the Hidden Genius Project, you can go to our website, kcalnews.com. I'm Leslie Maddine.